Hello students, welcome to Sarasa's classes. In this video, I will be solving the following question from ISS 2017 paper 4. Now here we have to define what do we mean by COSUM chart and then we have to explain the methodology of using it to process the control. Now this COSUM chart or COSUM chart, it is used to monitor to monitor used to monitor the mean of a process based on samples taken from process based on samples samples taken from the process from the process at given at given times like hours or shifts or months etc so it is used to monitor the mean of the process based on the samples taken from the process at given times now the measurement of the samples at a given time continues a uh, so the measurement the measurement of samples at given time at a given time they constitute constitute a subgroup and now rather than examining the mean of each subgroup independently this COSUM chart it shows the accumulation of the information of current and the previous samples so rather than examining rather than examining the mean of mean of each subgroup independently each subgroup independently this cosm chart the cusum this cosm chart what it does it it shows the accumulation of information of current and previous samples the accumulation of information accumulation of information of current and previous samples of current and previous samples and for this reason this chart is generally better than the x bar chart for detecting the small shift in the mean of the process so this CUSUM this chart it is better than x bar chart for detecting for detecting the small shift in the mean of the process small shift in mean 
of the process now this custom chart it relies on the specification of target value it relies on relies on specification of target value specification of target values target values and a known or reliable estimate of standard deviation and a known or reliable reliable estimate of standard deviation and for this reason this is, it is better to have this kusum chart kusum chart being used after the process control has been established so use of kusum chart kusum chart after after the process control has been established process control has been established now this kusum chart what it typically does is that it signals and out of chart process or out of control process out of control process by upward or downward drift of the cumulative sum until it crosses the boundary so it signals the out of control process by an upward or downward upward or downward drift of the cumulative sum of the cumulative sum until it crosses the boundary until it crosses the boundary now we will use the form we will formulate the control chart now here first we will calculate zi which is equals to xi bar minus x double bar divided by sigma cap z bar then this SLI this is equals to minus maximum of 0 comma minus Z comma minus K plus S so SLI is equals to ma minus maximum of 0 and minus zi minus k plus s l i minus 1 and s h i this is equals to maximum of 0 and minus not minus here zi minus k zi minus k plus s h i minus 1 so this is SLI and SHI now what we will do is we will plot these SHI and SLI on the control chart on a control chart the control limits are chosen as plus or minus H the control limits control limits are chosen as plus or minus 
H the usual choice for K that is this K the usual choice for K it is equals to 0 0.5 and H this H is typically set to 5 so what we will do is we will plot this SHI and SLI where SLI is equals to minus maximum of 0 and minus ZI minus K plus SLI minus 1 and SHI which is equals to maximum of 0 and ZI minus K plus S HI minus 1. Now the, we will plot this SHI and SLI on the control chart where the control limits are chosen as plus or minus H plus or minus H where this K it is usually equals to 0 0.5 and this H it is usually equals to 5 now when an out of control situation is detected so when an out of control situation is detected then what we do is then the corresponding sum may be left as it is so either the corresponding corresponding sum will be left as it is as it is or what we can do is that we can reset to an appropriate value so what we can do we can reset to an appropriate starting value appropriate starting value so whenever the out of control situations is detected then the corresponding sum will be either left as it is or we reset to an appropriate starting value